Yo, hi everyone, Nigel here from nigelshaw.com. So today's uh, video is something close to my heart. Actually, a lot of things close to my heart. Most of the videos I write and, and share about is all close to my heart. Um, I can't shorten this headline anymore. It's titled, it's called Sell, Sell All Your Stupid Shit and Downsize to Succeed. Um, that's in a nutshell, actually, what I'm trying to say. And what happens is that this is for a specific group of people who have accumulated amount, an amount of um, liabilities and products in their lives, but are still unhappy where they are. You know, it's like there's a group of people that, you know, um, bought a large or nice house or condo and paid the mortgage, bought one or two cars to drive around because this location probably a bit more uh, tucked away and it's a bit hard to access. You know, they have uh, certain club memberships and they find that they, you know, they're stuck, that they are stuck. They have to work the job to pay the bills in the sense that they, they, they have to pay a lot of money to maintain their lifestyle, their houses, apartments, their cars, their watches, their memberships, and they pick up expensive hobbies, you know, and they find that they're not happy and they're just uh, stuck, they're unhappy, you know, and this is one of the sadder ways of living life because what they realize is, oh, I'm earning X amount of money. I can afford this. I can afford that. They start accumulating. They start buying stuff. And when they buy something, like, you know, like a new car, a new house, there's always a lot of excitement, you know. And But then they realize, actually, it becomes mundane. It gets overrated after a while. Maybe the first week, you're like, oh, my God, I have a nice house. I love it so much. Da, 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 da. And then every, after at the month number 10, where you're paying the mortgage for the 10th time, like, oh, wow, there's a lot of money. And then they start feeling stuck. It's like, and then when their jobs squeeze them, you know, they, they have colleagues that they don't like or their bosses that are trying to breathe down their neck. And then they, they realize like, fuck, why am I doing this? Is it really like this? Does everyone do this? To answer the question, yes, many people do that. What is why I call it is painting themselves to a corner. And they have to wait for the pain to dry. And this wait for the pain to dry is basically to, they normally tolerate until they retire. So they tolerate this game of buying, accumulating, paying for shit they don't care about. Either to impress or trying to pursue a certain form of happiness, but it doesn't scratch that itch. You know, that is the poorest form of success in my opinion, because it's all superficial, it's posturing. You look successful, but you know in your heart, you feel like, fuck. You feel, you don't, you don't feel closest to success because it's not the right process. It's not the right thing to do, right? So that's why often I tell people, so you got to lighten up, you know? You got to get rid of all your unnecessary expenses that you don't need or don't use. Shit that you buy either to conform to society, you know, to make your mother, ha father happy or your brother, sister happy or whatever. You buy a house to impress them, but uh, you're not using half the house. You're not using half the room, you know, or it's uh, the mortgage is too much for you to bear. It's taking too much from your paycheck, right? That luxury car, you don't need more than one car. In fact, in, if you live in Singapore, you may not even need a car. You know, but you want to buy cars just to show that you're successful, you know, or you you buy watches or you have this certain X, Y, Z hobbies. Uh, if you don't need it, you don't use it, sell it off. Sell out all this fucking shit. Downsize. You know, so then how do they say, no, 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 I can't. Uh, it will look too bad on me or it will feel too bad for me. Then I'm like, really? Do you spend amount of time in your house? And sometimes I say, oh no, my maid spend more time in my house than me. Then I'm like, so who's the house for? Or at the end of the day, I'll come into a nice place. Then I'm like, are you sure? Because you have X amount of time. I shared before, life is short, but long enough. You don't waste time pursuing things. That's not what makes you happy. Remember, the two highest goals, uh, my, my camera. The two highest goals in life, right? Number one, finding God, finding Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He, brings you, he can bring you to the Father, Father God in heaven. He's the only way. First highest goal. Second highest goal is happiness. 
if you're able to achieve happiness, you have won the game of life. You have won the game of life if you're happy. Only if you're not happy, then you watch videos that I share out about how to get happier, you know, right? And one of the things that I will often share is this. Sell all your stupid shit and downsize. Just fucking downsize. If you're single, you can stay with your parents. You can, you know. Or, you know, if you're single, stay with a bunch of friends. Everybody, um, group rent is so much cheaper. Seriously, instead of paying a couple of thousand by yourself, you know, for a whole unit, spread it out. You may be in here spending less than a thousand or just slightly more than a thousand, you know. And then you can build friends, build network and things like that. Sell it off stuff that you don't need. Sell off stuff that you bought to impress others. There's no real fucking need for that. If you really, really want to succeed, then you need to quantify what is success to you. To me, as I said, the two biggest highest goals in life. God, finding God, finding Jesus Christ, building and ha finding happiness. Getting happiness and building upon it. And happiness has so many branches on happiness. Like I shared before, you know, some people is relationship, to some people is children, to some people is being kind, being generous, some people is philanthropy, you know. It's not about how much money you have in your bank. To a certain portion, to a certain extent, yes, you need X amount of dollars in your bank to make sure that um, you know you feel safe. You can buy food, you put food on your table, you can have warm water. Ah, my camera, camera, zoom in properly. Camera. Uh, you know, so that's uh, maybe I'll share on that uh, in another video. And once you sell off all your stupid shit, right? Then you downsize, you have a lot bigger savings. You know, you got a lot bigger savings that you can put in your bank account. You can invest, okay? Make sure you have a job or business that you really like, you know, that it gives you at least 50% personal satisfaction, you know, that allows you to pay the bills, have hot water, have shelter, um, save a lot and invest, you know. It's a lot about self-awareness. You must know yourself. I often share, some people are born, you know, to build billion-dollar businesses. They can't sleep. They love big problems. They love solving big problems. And it's also something not about making money from the form. They just love it. They just love the game. And it's different for somebody who is born and white to build billion dollar businesses versus somebody who's really happy and if 50,000 a year making pickles, you know? But the happiness is the same level. You can't say, oh, because they're earning a billion dollars, he, he or she is much happier than the person earning $50,000 making pickles. You, you want to bet? No. There are so many rich people out there who are utterly depressed, unhappy. Because for those who just seek after money, it's never enough. It's never enough. So you must know how you're wired. If you're not wired to build billion dollar businesses, and, but you want to build billion dollar businesses, that's where the disconnect happens and that's where people get upset, unhappy. Also, when they're forced, you know, that you have only, if you're earning 50000 a year, you want to buy a $5 million property, it's like, hmm, there's a big disconnect there as well. So you must know how you're wired and go within your lane where you are thriving, where you're, you're doing, where you can do really well, you know. If you think of somebody who is good, happy, earning, earning $50,000 in a good life, spending time with family, kids, da 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 and push them into a system where they have to work from... 40 hours a week, 20, 30 hours a week to, some, to, to someone who works 100 hours a week, 120 hours a week. They don't flow. They can do it for a while, but they'll crack. It's they, everybody is, has certain strength and they should go based on their strength and preferences. So if you have accumulated shit that you don't care about, accumulated shit like you know homes that you can't afford or shouldn't afford, cars that you shouldn't afford, luxury stuff that you shouldn't afford, sell them all off. Downsize. Rent. Stay with your parents. Stay with friends. You know? And then work hard. Seriously, it'll be a wonderful foundation for you to build your success, build your happiness. It'll be exciting. I mean, that's what I feel. So, 
That's what I think. Don't accumulate. Don't buy stupid shit. It's toxic. Find what really makes you happy. You know, if you can find a sweet spot between what makes you really happy and profitable at the same time, that's a sweet spot. You know, um, do that then. But if you're stuck somewhere, do what I just tell you here. So allow your stupid shit and downsize to succeed. That's all I have to share for you in this video. If you like this video, do subscribe down below and let me know what you think. I, love, I would love to hear your thoughts by commenting below and reach out to me. Love to hear from you. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.